guys. Uh, the other night I was thinking about something. Don't know if it's a good idea or not, but I wanted to share it with you. Um, I was thinking that maybe we could, every one of us, uh, take one piece of our equipment and show ideas of how to use it uh, in a way that normally isn't the right way to use it, but that could maybe save your life or just uh, be a big uh, service or help when you did it. Um, so if you you want to participate in that, um, feel free to post uh, your video answer as a video answer to this video. Um, my idea here was about a simple uh, stainless steel cup that fits under my water bottle. This is perhaps the piece of gear I always carry with me. Uh, it's uh, you can see how dark it is because of the suit, uh, and I really use it a lot. I really love that piece, um, and I cook my meals. I cook my I heat my tea, my water. Uh, I melt the snow with that, but. All of these are the usual ways to use that one. It happened to me twice to use this one as a shovel. It's pretty pretty convenient. You can dig into the ground uh, with that one. Uh, I'm not actual, actually showing you that because I need to clean it and I'd like to make my tea pretty soon. So, <laughs> But I think you get the trick. It's really useful for that. You can use it uh, without injuring your fingers uh, into the ground and just use it, either use uh, the handle and dig into the dirt uh, like that or use this as a bowl, uh, put your hand as if you were holding a bowl like that and dig into the ground that way. It really, really works well, um, don't forget to to purify, not purify, to wash your cup after and before you do, you cook your meal inside or maybe a, just a, a good rolling boil will be enough in that one. Just put it in the fire to, to heat and kill every bacteria you can find on it. But the other way I used it uh, at least three times now uh, was like a small oven for um, a bread I mean, I use the Bannock recipe. Uh, it's um, I use uh, three parts flour, flour, flour. I don't know how to pronounce that. Three parts, three parts flour, um, two parts uh, dehydrated milk, and half a part of uh, water with that, and a little sugar, one teaspoon of uh, baking powder or baking soda, and then you, you, you prepare everything in the paste, uh, the dough inside the cup, then just wash the cup, build a little fire. Now what you want to do is use three little sticks to put it on the ground, you put your bowl, uh, bowl of um, bannock uh, on the top of these sticks and just put the cup over upside down put a little mud uh, or um, soil I don't know the, put something uh, that won't burn around the edges for an approximately seal tight uh, tight seal sorry and then you build your fire or just take the embers of your fire and put them and build like a small fire over the cup and then you just can let it heat and cook for about an hour and you will have a pretty nice bannock. I wanted to show you that today but uh, just uh, I went into the woods too late so I won't be able to build a big fire I just gonna eat my uh, it a good muffin, chocolate muffin, and uh, enjoy a cup of coffee, but this is pretty basic. You just put your sticks, put your dough, uh, your bread, your bannock bowl uh, on the, the twigs or the, the sticks, put your cup on them, build your fire, put the embers and everything, and just let cook. You can, if you are careful, uh, always be careful with that, it will heat 
really really alert so don't use them without a piece of uh, cotton or um, a piece of cloth <coughs> return it to see how the bread is going on and I can tell you it's really really good and really really great uh, if you want to, to use it as an oven so this is three, three uh, things I've thought about uh, if you have any other ideas just share it here and don't hesitate to to show me what <coughs> or show us sorry show us what you do with your gear in the way in alternative ways uh, that we don't always think about uh, at first so I think this could be really useful for every one of us uh, so don't hesitate to post that under this video so guys Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, support. Uh, always appreciate it, and see you soon, bye bye, cheers.